In this video, we'll talk about first order equation, how they can be visualized using slope fields. So the first equation we're going to look at solving is first order equations. These should theoretically be the easiest ones to solve because they only involve one derivative. And the key assumption that we're going to make with these equations, with all of our equations down the line, is that we can always solve out for the highest order derivative. In this case, since there is only one derivative, that means I can always have my dy dt term isolated on the one side and everything else on the right. And in that case, the only thing that's going to be over there are values of t and y embedded in some whatever function that I want. So I can write my dy dt equaling some function f of t and y, and that gives us the sort of most general first order differential equation we could ever have. With, if we assume we can solve for the highest order derivative, then this is sort of the most general thing we can have. This is all first order equations look like this in some form or another for some choice of f. So with that fact, how can we try to visualize these equations? Well, we have, right, our most general first order equation is dy dt is f of ty. And the point here is, this is just the derivative by itself. We know this is the slope of the tangent line to the function y of t that solves this differential equation. And given any point t and y on a coordinate plane, I can evaluate what this slope should be by just plugging into this function. So in a sense, I can plot a whole bunch of points on a coordinate grid, and at each point, make a little mark that indicates the slope of the tangent to the curve at that point. And this is what's called a slope field for this differential equation. So the slope field is a drawing where small line segments mark the slope that the solution curve must follow at that point if it's going to solve this differential equation. And the main idea here is if I have a picture that has the slope everywhere, I can use it to sort of trace out what the curve should do over a range of values just following the slopes of these lines. This gives a decent way to sort of picture and look at what the solution should do over time just based on what the differential equation looks like and what the function f does at certain points. So for example, assume I have a slope field looks like this uh, for differential equation. There's two versions here. This one has the magnitude involved. This one's all the vectors are rescaled. It's easier to see what's going on with the rescaled one. That's why I put both here. So if I take y of 3 equals 3, what does my solution look like? Well, I can find here is the t equals 0, and here is y equals 3. So I know my curve goes through that somewhere. Now I can follow these little arrows. These arrows are pointing upward which means that I know my curve is going to sort of come up this way, follow these lines, go tangent to them, and then sort of flatten out right around here at 5. Just following the arrows, I can get me to that solution. What about if y of 1 is negative 1? I can again go to y of 1 is negative 1 is something like this. Based on the arrows, it's just going to take off down this way. What I would say is for y of 0 equals 3, the solution approaches five and for y of one equals minus one the solution goes to minus infinity the slope fields are nice because they give us information in a pictorial form and it's pretty easy to sort of make these and then use them to analyze what's going to happen to differential equation over time just based on what the arrows look like and how the slope field behaves so that's sort of the idea of a general first order equation how we can use slope fields to visualize and analyze these equations and what they're going to do over time.